Hello, what's up? My name is Maisie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing my October favourites. I haven't done these kinds of videos in literally like three months. <laughs> I've just been kind of busy with all my other videos and I've just kind of um, not really kept on top of it. And to be honest, because my collection isn't massive, um, it's very hard for me to like pick different plants each month. So a lot of them will kind of be the like, same ones. So I think I'll probably do it like every um, two months or so just to kind of change change things up and, you know, make things a little bit different and interesting. But anyway, let's just get straight into it, starting with my first favourite. These are in no particular order. I'm just showing them because this one is literally right here. So this one has been catching my eye and I literally never talk about this um only on my houseplant tour and well this is first of all this is the stromanthi trio star i think yeah this is <laughs> that just doesn't sound right wait this is the stromanthi trio star i hope um it's just really these leaves that are just standing out to me and what i'm really loving oh this leaf and I'm just really taking notice of it more. And look at those bags. So this lives downstairs. Um, so that's kind of really why I don't really talk about it. I mostly just talk about the ones in my room. These are my main plants, really. Um, but this one is... Yeah, it's just becoming really beautiful. And, I mean, it's got a lot of deadness um, just all here. But, like, all the new... The new growth is just coming in really, really beautiful and the backs are just gorgeous, as you can just kind of tell. I think it's just loving where it is, to be honest. I can't really explain where it is. It's just, it's just kind of in the corner, 15 feet away from a north facing window, I think. Um, so it's like not really getting that much light and you know, I just kind of water it when it's dry or when I notice that it needs a water and that's about it it's like really really easy and yeah I'm just really appreciating it this month and I just wanted to to show it to give it some attention because it deserves it <laughs> okay we move on to the second plant here on my shelf okay I actually just repotted this today it is my I was gonna say syngonium philodendron squamiferum and mainly because of this leaf and how well it's doing it does live in Lekka. it's kind of really hard for me to show you because they're gonna go everywhere um but it's just like really taking off and i, I can't wait to to see this like get really mature and finally have that fully grown squamiferum that i have always wanted I've had this for a while and it's just kind of been up and down. It was doing really well, um, probably like six months ago. And then I was left with a one or two leaf plant. So this is the oldest leaf. Um, this is what I was left with. And I moved it to Lekka and I've just got all this new growth. And look at those stems. And with every new leaf, the fuzzy stems just get even hairier. You can see with the oldest leaf, there is literally hardly any fuzz. And then my newest leaf is just so hairy. It's beautiful. It's like getting that red colour to it. And this is like one of the quickest growing, maturing plants. Like it's, like I've said, it's getting that squamiferum shape and it's just sizing up really quickly really nicely and i love it it has got a new growth point as you can see and it's doing really really well loving lecker so i don't really know if i'm gonna move it to soil um i did actually think about moving it to soil when i repotted it today but it's just doing so well in lecker you know i don't really want to kind of mess with that too much um but yeah i just had to show her she's definitely one of my favorites and yeah the next plant is one that I absolutely am loving. Like, this is probably in my top three favourites. So, without further ado, my beautiful Hoya Crimson Queen. 
I moved her in this really lovely pot just now and I absolutely love it. I, th I think the the colours look good all together, you know, it just, it complements each other. Okay, let me just show you the, all the new growth. Like, it is seriously crazy. You can see all the new pink leaves is the new growth. You can see some there, it's really hard to show you. <laughs> Sorry. Um, oh, we've got some here. Let's all look at that leaf. Can you see that spotted leaf? That is just beautiful. I think I'll have to turn you around. It's just not stopped growing from when I bought it. This is actually another one that I repotted today. I think it's had a nice, like, <laughs> it's had a nice shower. And the leaves start off so small. Hold on, let me find, see if I can find a really, really baby leaf. Yeah, I can't really find any good baby leaves, but they just start off so small. I mean, there's kind of a good um, example just there. And every day they just expand and they just slowly get bigger. I mean, look at the variegation. It is just absolutely gorgeous. I love this plant so much. So this plant sits on my self-facing window and I mean, <laughs> I think she's absolutely loving that because like I said, she's just not stopped growing from since I bought her, you know, you would never have noticed a change, shock period, like she just, she hasn't stopped. <laughs> she's She ain't slowing down and I love it so much. She's my absolute baby. She's my beauty. I should probably move on. I'm just, I, li I seriously, I just, I just, like every day I just come and look at this plant and just look for new leaves and I don't know, admire it. And I just can't believe how well the pot fits in this um, pot. I mean, I didn't, I didn't plan on moving it to this pot, but it works. So yeah. Okay, so the next plant is actually one of my new ones, but I did try really hard not to pick those ones just because you know they're new um but i just this one i just really really love and i just i think i will just show it because i love it so let me just go get it um it's also a beast so just just prepare yourself i have no idea how i'm gonna show her <laughs> oh my goodness uh, okay let's just take a second to admire every single leaf there are many excuse me there are many leaves the alocasias are battling <laughs> okay so this is the beautiful alocasia michalitziana or more commonly known as frydeck so where do i begin this one i got about a month ago maybe um and oh my goodness <laughs> it's like an umbrella and i did show her when i first brought her home so i will link the video and you can go check that out but she's doing a lot better because in that video she was really really droopy i think it was just kind of like shock from you know moving but after you know a good water and adjusting she has perked up and she's not drooping i mean this one is but i think just because it's so big and um she's you can kind of tell she's like really stretching i mean especially this leaf she's really just stretching towards the light um alocasias will do this well i mean most plants all plants really will stretch towards the light and these stems can get really long and leggy so you know if you kind of want a what's the word a compact alocasia then then try and give them you know a good amount of light i mean not direct nothing like that but um you know they will stretch towards and they can just kind of go everywhere and um they can take up a lot of space so yeah that is my absolute beauty she is still in the spare bedroom i, I haven't figured out where i'm gonna put her yet she's so big and my giant african land snails tank is just like right here where a lot of my plants would go um so yeah i've got to do a little bit of rearranging and sorting out where all my plants are going but i actually do need to repot her but i'm just kind of putting it off because okay because i don't know i'm a little bit scared the last allocation that i bought just kind of went downhill from the day that i repotted her and maybe that was just 
a dud plant. I don't know. It it wasn't as mature as this. So, I mean, it should be good. Oh, this leaf is gorgeous. Just admire this leaf. Can you see how velvety this is? This has been a dream plant of mine. Basically from when I started collecting plants and really got into like the rare and unusual ones. And this is just what I want a plant to be. You know, it's velvety. It's got that beautiful veining and it's big leaves and it's so dark. I mean, yeah, this is like, this is like the ideal plant really. Okay, so the last plant, I don't know whether to show because I've been talking about it quite a lot recently. And in my last favorites that I did, I showed, cause I have two of them. So I showed the other one, but now I want to show you this one. Can I just show it? I'll just show it because I haven't, I haven't done one of these in ages. I can just give a good five minutes to this particular plant because I love her so much. Oh, oh my gosh. We just cracked the, the pot. Okay. This is not going well. Okay, the last plant is... My Syngonium Albo. I mean, who saw that coming? <laughs> this plant is just doing amazingly well. Um, okay, I don't really know exactly where to start literally just a month or two ago this was still very small and it just grows so quickly and i just can't believe all of a sudden the variegation the growth i'm getting i mean it's honestly just insane um I, this is still my favorite leaf unfortunately it is dying off i think because there's so much white it's obviously gonna die off because there's not enough chlorophyll this one as well actually just on the white part is well you can't really see but it's also browning so oh no it's just gonna be a bare space i'm also thinking of maybe like chopping and popping this don't know um just to make uh maybe a few plants in this in this pot so the newest leaf is oh my gosh wait a second this is tiny. What the heck? <laughs> no, wait, are you being serious? Oh my gosh, my pothos all over again. I mean, look how big this leaf is. That's really big. Okay, like, obviously not massive, but like, for this plant, it's really big. And now the size oh my word are you being serious i don't know why i mean obviously it is up i've put like two chopsticks whatever they're called steaks and just to kind of prop it up and to try to try to train it to climb but i don't know the leaves are just getting smaller and it's very annoying the area roots are just going crazy i'm realizing <laughs> can you see oh my goodness okay yeah i was actually going to repot this today um, because the roots, yeah, but I didn't because I don't know if I'm like giving her a moss pole yet and which moss pole when I have to do all that. So I just left it for another day. She can wait a few more weeks. Um, so yeah, she does live on my self facing window. She loves it ever since I moved her there. That's just when she's taken off. And as you know, I really do love this plant. This is definitely in my top 10. And uh, obviously I had to just, um, talk about her again today and that's it for my favorites for october i mean i will be having more plants to share um because i am getting quite a few more and have gotten quite a few in the past couple months um so there will be a little bit more to show and my collection has gone up a little bit but yeah i think i will just keep it to every two months just for now just to you know um, so yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope all your plants are doing great and I hope you're well. And as always, please, if you did enjoy this video, I would really, really appreciate it if you give this video a like and subscribe, comment any questions or anything you like, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.